Be Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh for my RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Maybe if... No. You think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Size 11s. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things 
Got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place? I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Did a neighbor see you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. What's this bunkum? Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. Any messages for me? Yes, Detective. In regards to the Celine Henry homicide, the owner of the Turkey Bowl restaurant at 1535 West 3rd Street says the victim was at his restaurant last night. Turkey Bowl restaurant. We'll check it out. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc.
You're behind the wheel. My brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're working a murder case. Mrs. Celine Henry, you called in? Yeah, the name's Joe Nesco. This is my place. You saw Mrs. Henry in here last night? Until about 1 a.m., having dinner with a friend. Doing more drinking than eating. You got that straight. Mrs. Henry was seen leaving another establishment in the company of a man. Did the two of them come here? Yeah, I remember seeing her with a guy. Did you see them leave? They got into his old Pontiac. Dull brown color. I got a look at the license plate. 2B8899. You have a name? Description, maybe? Come on, Mr. Nesco. We need something more to go on. Smallest guy. Maybe 5'7". Dark complexion. Latin looking. What time did the two of them leave? Around 2 a.m. They were talking pretty loud. She had a black eye. Said her husband gave it to her. Said she was going to have him commit it. Was she a regular in here? No. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't have recognized her face among the usual crowd. Would you be able to identify the man she was with? Maybe. I wasn't watching him too close. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nesco. Thanks for your time. She wants a five star. Would you recommend the special, miss? Boy. Let's take it seem better days. He's only a writer. He can't really help me. That broad has socks in it, Brazier. I love these waitresses. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Thanks, ma'am. Where the hell's he going with that? Look, Pops, just hand over the money, okay? All right, young fellow, okay. okay. Hold your horses. 
I'm getting the money. I ain't afraid to drill you, you know. Hey, hey careful with that trigger finger now. You look the nervous type. Plug the old bastard, Lefty. If I gotta come in there, I'm spraying lead, you old coot. LAPD, drop the weapon. I can't Give me some cover! Stay down! Take more than punks like that to rattle me. You can go. If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? Mendez could be our man. He could be at that, but you don't want to cross the skipper, Phelps. Not a great move in your first day. He wants Henry re-interviewed. How'd you like losing your cherry, rookie? It might be my first day here, but I've had extensive experience on other desks in the department. I think you're aware of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've been a pain in the ass before today as well. And I shall continue to be until the end of time. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I let my daughter have. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole. You'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez, apartment 16. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. 
Take a look around and see what you can find. I don't think so. This doesn't pertain to the case. Circumstantial. Incidental. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch! I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there! You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Get in and drive. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. I ain't saying a goddamn thing.
You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. So we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at that. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Take the next right. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Henderson. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that so you matter. You don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators are our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. 
We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Detective, I was first on scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Detectives, R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? It's 
grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Give me some peace and quiet while I finish up. He's good looking for a policeman. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. Two peanuts were walking on the street. One was assaulted. Still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels you imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. You're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. I need you to take a left at the next corner.
Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Doesn't look like anything. My partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. This isn't what we're looking for. I don't think this is going to help us. Work boots, size eight. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. No sign of a wedding ring. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? I never paid much attention to that stuff. I 
I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are room here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? If you don't ask, you never find out. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? Now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? 
Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit! It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Sorry, sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... No one's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Did we get Ray Pinker and a technical services Phelps, team to one, a two, house four, at 130 seven. North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone down from How Juvenile Hall to look it? after a young lady. I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks for your help.
This guy must have escaped. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Police morgue downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Emmy, it's the first season since fabric rationing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. Eleven K, code two. Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like